Hi, welcome to Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff. I'm Frankie. And a few days ago, our trusty old PS3 decided to burst into flames. So, what we're going to do today is use the toolkit we reviewed in our recent video. If you'd like to see a review of that, then have a look at the link up there. And take it to pieces and see if, well, what the damage was. Can it be repaired? So first things first, what actually happened to our poor old PS3? Well, basically it looked like it was trying to have its own personal fireworks display coming out the back of the machine. Uh, the first thing you knew about it was some strange popping noises, wasn't it? Yes, I heard a very loud pop and then yeah. a very bright flash. And I was trying to decide whether it was something that was on the telly. And then I saw you looking down at the... PlayStation and very quickly um, moving to yeah. um, get something to hold your hands with and unplug yeah. it. Because I had heard some smaller pops initially and it was like, is that on the telly? What's that? And then there was a funny smell. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah. I'm never going to forget that uh, yeah. funny smell. It's, it stank yeah. the yeah. high sight. It's the smell you get when the magic blue smoke comes out of electronics, <laughs> basically. And it's very potent. Yeah, and there was a lot coming out of it. Yeah. Strangely enough, as it was uh, self-immolating itself, um, it was actually still working. It switched, uh, it switched, switched on, itself it? back. It switched yeah. itself on. It was uh, the screen came up. The menu came up. The menu, and yeah. Uh, even as I was Pulling trying them. to pull the power cord out, so. It's possible that it's still working. I would imagine the <laughs> the power supply is completely gone. We're kind of hoping yeah, that's it's, all it is. And all, that's all it is. The power supply is located uh, at the back. This is upside down. And it's a PlayStation Slim, if you're wondering. And the power, power station, power, the power supply is located at the back. And hopefully all the damage is located just in that part and hopefully we'll be able to swap it out uh, which you can do in another video at later point yes. and um, have it fixed but at the moment we're really just conducting an autopsy to see what damage if there is any additional damage or is it simply located within the power supply so what tools will you be using today to carry out our little ps3 autopsy well, we'll need a couple of different screw types to get in. There are seven Phillips screws, and some of them are sneakily located underneath the little rubber feet here. Oh, okay. So all except this one. There's one under there, 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 but not that one. And, of course, there's one located underneath the nice warranty seal. Um, not that you're allowed to have warranty seals if broken anymore uh, but back when they produced this you could and there are also four t8 torx security type oh yes it's at the front so just they're, they're here. easily visible i can see those yeah they're, they're at the front and the seven phillips are around the edges once they're out i'll use this little hooky thing to get the little rubber feet out and reveal the phillips underneath uh, we'll get inside and uh, go from there. Cool. So we've got six of our screws off 
Uh, there is an additional screw point just under here. Uh, it's a little blue screw and it secures the hard disk in place. It comes out of this drawer. So if you do want to change the hard disk, then that screw is in there. Uh, but we now need to tackle this little screw hidden underneath the st sticker here. And there we have our warranty sticker. Obviously, the PS3 is years old, and even if the warranty sticker did actually apply, um, this is long past its warranty. And so we don't have to worry about that. And underneath here is yet another one of these little plastic things, and there's our seventh screw. So let's get on with attacking these Phillips screws and then we'll get onto the torques at the front. So that's our seven initial Phillips screws out of the way and we're on to the Torx security type T8 to be precise. seven Phillips and four security screws from the base. We've mm -hmm. turned it the right way uh, up. Yeah. Um, what's next? We open it up. Wow. Opens up from the back. Okay. And... Are there any clips or anything? No. Okay, it's so... lift straight off. And okay. this is the inside of our PS3. And here we have... Um, here we have the culprit. Uh, power supply unit and we're just going to have a look around and see what we can see. We've got it open and luckily it looks pretty clean. There isn't sort of giant scorch marks or anything particularly horrible. It's not a lump of molten plastic. Yes, yes, uh, yes. It's, it's not just molten PlayStation. Everything is looking okay at this level. Of course, here we have the air intake and the venting that pipes the air around to the back. Um, and here we have the Blu-ray drive. So the next part is unplugging these cables which take the power from here the AC side and output here the DC side which is what the console will use. So as you can see we have power inlet there on the AC converted to what the console wants and comes out the other side. Luckily this is just one unit and as we were saying hopefully this will just be a straight replacement of the entire unit. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, um, one thing to bear in mind is this is of course a power supply unit and some elements within this can store power even when they're unplugged. So always treat power supplies with great respect. Always. So we just need to squeeze these little cables and pull them out like that. That's the AC. Okay, and with the DC it just pulls up. And the next thing to do is to unscrew these two Phillips screws on either side here. So what are we doing now? With those last two screws out the way, we lift it out. It comes out left-hand side. So AC a, the AC side. side. And we lift it 
Oh. So I'll just hold that cable out the way for you. And come on. And here we go. So now we've got the power supply out of the way. We can see into the back of the machine and it's still looking nice and clean. No crispy bits, burnt edges or anything nasty there. So hopefully, assuming no random power spikes found their way into the rest of the gubbins and fried them, the rest of this should should, he says tentatively, be okay. The fact it was still going, even up to the point of unplugging, I would hopefully mean that it's all right. Possibly there was some damage to the data on the hard disk uh, that would only be able to tell that once you powered it back on and checked. But yeah, that could have, that could have happened whilst Lots of power surging around, but the rest of it's looking okay. We have the power supply open now. There are a couple of screws and um, a great deal of prying involved, but it's out and um, whilst the amount of juice inside one of these probably wouldn't uh, end you, uh, it's definitely worth treating these with respect uh, and there isn't a great deal to see, you know of damage no massive amounts of scoring this component here at the end is the only one that does look it looks this, a bit yeah. melted out of shape doesn't it yeah it looks like it's um blown <laughs> that's the only real thing there's a still the slight smell of uh, magic blue smoke coming from it but as it was trying to um, produce its own one PlayStation firework display I think we can safely say that this is dead yes and we'll replace this with a another one and we'll see how that goes we'll find out whether anything else was damaged, when any of the data on the mm. hard disk was damaged. Um, but this little chappy here, I think he can go to uh, electrical recycling. Yes, PlayStation Heaven. Yeah, PlayStation Heaven. He worked for... R.I.P. Yes. Power Unit. Yes, uh, you did well and then you uh, tried to burn the house down. So, um, yes. Um, in all seriousness, it was lucky we were yes. actually here yes. to unplug it. Yes. Um, I mean, if that had happened when we were unattended, away, um, we yeah, could may, well have. It, it, had... it might might have just shorted itself out, and that was it. But you never know. Uh, yes, and there are no second chances for power supplies that try to burn the house down. No. No. So this guy's out of here yes and i think that's it for this episode so do i yeah and definitely that's it for him so i've been jeff i've been frankie this has been a very very bad playstation power supply and this has been the mammoth tech show and you've been very kind to watch thank you very much Ones. Makes a nice chiming noise. Yes.